Hey everyone, today is Thanksgiving and I am so thankful for you and your stories on Scopio. For that, I wanted to read you a few that would inspire you and remind you of how we should be so thankful um, in this incredible dynamic world that we live in. Here are a few featured stories that our team put together that we thought would brighten your day. Rakib Hassan Suman, Dhaka Division, Bangladesh. Dhaka is one of the most populous cities in Bangladesh. I took pictures at a railway station in this city for about five years. My main subject is the image of the way people live in the railway station. I have presented some black and white pictures from those pictures here. Color pictures will also be published later. Laurentu Vlad, France. 2022's traditional Parisian May Day riots have been quite unusual compared to previous years. After violent clashes with protesters at the beginning of the march, the police station essentially vanished for about two hours. Hence, more radical protesters were given a green light to commit acts of vandalism. After a couple of hours, the police rushed in and violently suppressed the protests using tear gas, stunt grenades, flashbangs, and rubber bullets. Wow, what a picture. Izzy MB, Nairobi, Nairobi County, Kenya. These are composite images I created that were intended to sensitize against the use of plastic. Ooh. Zahra Sabiri, Iran. Into the light. Rahile, 13 years old and born blind, is living in a highland village called Kiel, Kiel, Kielje in north of Iran. Her father is a cattleman and till tiller. Her mother, while afflicted by multiple sclerosis, helps the family in daily work. In her village, Hela, there is no school. And Rahele has to pass a long, muddy road, which is more than one kilometer every day, alone. The most annoying thing that bothers her is walking this long, arduous, and crap craggy road. But due to her enthusiasm and learning, she is not disappointed. In spite of her birth disability, which caused her not to see her surroundings, she has stopped her effort and curiosity to know life. She has not stopped. <laughs> Colors have no sense for her, and the only thing she sees in days is absolute whiteness and at night darkness. During the day, sun gives her the pleasant feeling of safety and security. She does not like the night coming. The seeking spirit of Rahile makes her have a new comprehension by touching the things, listening to the voices around, and feeling warmness and coldness, and thus imagining her connections in the, her world. She loves nature, and by asking questions about the things, she tries to discover new ways for better living. Her hope for her life and her efforts are incredible. She's a good example of a woman who, regardless of physical difficulties, tries to go on and go on. Instead of fearing from outside and immersing in the solitudes, she faces boldly with the problems and welcome whatever might ha be happened. Wow, this is also an incredible image. And also glad that my team picked something from Iran of a young girl. So everyone has that, those things in their praise, in their prayers um, today and, and praise for everybody around the world that is seeking justice and a better future for themselves and their communities, which is what Scopio is all about. Sebastian Japson, Philippines. In today's modern issues and the rampant virus with its impulsive growth for almost a year, all of us are unable to go out easily in our households and do the usual things that we're used to. Everything seems to be fast with how we're adjusting towards the new normal. This is dedicated to all of us who are fighting, not just with, um, COVID-19, but with everything that has been going on everywhere lately, whether it may be global or social issues, these set of photos are a symbol of hope and courage to fight against the virus or anything that has been holding us back. To make the outside world see what the others are experiencing and that they're not alone with all the struggles that we build unity and fight together. So a lot of people think that COVID is over um, and here we are in the holidays. Many people cannot celebrate with their families because they still have it. So this is ruining childhoods and moments with our elders and everyone is very bummed about this when it happens in their family and 
again, thanks for all the great things that we do have today.